How's it going guys? This is Mason here coming to you once again the weekend. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm still doing pretty well because it's the weekend. So I'm pumped for the weekend. Got some things happening this weekend like to just talk about. Um, today guys I just like to talk about uh, obviously I like um, one of my hobbies is the doing my fish aquarium. That's one of my favorite hobbies. So I'll just give you guys an update on what's going on to my tank and also tomorrow I'll be getting a couple of new additions to my tank which I'll also post up during the week for you guys. I just want to show you since my last update that we've been getting some nice growth on those crypts man, like some really good growth. Um, and I have a bloody snail infestation now as well guys, it's just, it's gone nuts in the tank so it's, yeah, it's just uh it's going off and um, you know since I started only a couple of years ago with fish keeping um, I really learned a lot and, it, and again it's one of the, my favorite sort of hobbies and and also my pets to look after so um, yeah so without further ado let's go have a look see how it's going so let's take it up this way uh, walk out of the old bedroom here so, the old brand new house here. I'll turn it around for you guys so you can see what's going on. I can't really do that, I have to turn it around actually. So yeah, here we go. So as you can see here, we got, this is how it looks state currently. As you can see here, we've got buddy Ram Sean snails everywhere folks. We've got also those little black ones which I'm not sure they are, but they're definitely a different type of um snail, which I'm not sure. But there's certainly lots and lots of them along with the Ram Shawns, which is the the bigger purp uh, orangey looking ones there. Um so down here you can see like this crypts are going really good down here. Some great growth. You can see a little bit coming out of the substrate there. They're doing really well. Um, the Wendetti there, that's doing all right. That hasn't really grown much, but it's done, you know. It's grown um, horizontally a fair bit, so. Now, you might see the back there, the moss and the, in the um, swords. I've cut them back quite a bit. Um, I've been having a little bit of issues with them. They haven't grown really tall or anything. I've cut them back quite substantially. Um, the, the dark green shoots, they're, they're new growth there. Yeah, there's my two albino corridors, and here's my very friendly snakeskin endler here. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably be getting a new edition of, of an endler tomorrow because he's been on his own for quite a while. Um, I'd like to have another tank make for him. And I'll probably get two more cori more corridors, only because that, um... Hi, Sash. It's my dog, Sashy. You want to say hello? Say hello, Sash. Yeah, uh, only because um, they should be in groups of six, you know, the different species. I've only got four at the moment, so definitely would like to get some more at some point. Which will be tomorrow probably, so go to my local fish store. Um, I've always, the one I go to always sort of has a nice variety, so. In the back there, you can see like, the Christmas moss, that's really going up. I've got like a little piece of wood in there that it's been growing on. And the snails love that shit, they... they Eve stay on there, they feed on there every day. Any little leftover pieces of food that I give them, all the stuff in here. Now, the extreme aquatic foods, these guys have been liking this. Something new that I got from the local, local fish store. The guppy, uh, the endless really enjoy it, the tetras enjoy it too. So, it's looking good, like it's a lot better than it used to be. There used to be so much algae on the grass here, the snails certainly. Did their job and picked that off so yeah it's uh probably have to maybe use some bleach i heard that you can use some bleach to kill the snails but i'm not sure how that's going to affect the other tank mates so just wondering from you guys maybe if there's something better that i can use to to use that to kill them off but definitely i don't want my tank to be a snail infestation that would be um that wouldn't be good <laughs> Besides, like, they're pretty harmless, like the catfish sleeve malone, all that sort of stuff, so. That's all things out at the moment, so tomorrow I'm definitely going to get a couple more corridors, because corridors are one of my favourite fish, like, I've only had guppies, handlers, 
uh, Tetras, um, the black neons. So the Corys, they're just so great. Like they're so friendly. They're so peaceful. They don't touch or harm anything, and they and they do a great job cleaning up the substrate and any leftover bits of food, which stops the any ammonias or the nitrates from going up. So they've been doing a great job. I used to have seven in there, but sadly a few have passed away from from different um, water parameters. One of my Corydoras style, I think, because like they say that. If you don't siphon the sand sometimes often enough like the toxic chemicals get built up in there and I think one of my quarries, I had a panda quarry, he um, might have got one of those so um, might have killed him so the poor guy so oh look at some wood here, I'm trying to figure out what to do with this wood, I think I might leave this for a new project because um, I got this also from the local fish store, I like to try to do some hardscaping um, in the near future I'm happy with my setup now but with the new tank I get I'd like to try and do like a nice hardscape which would um, have a couple of maybe rocks like natural rocks maybe just see you know give them a bit of a bit of a tap water run down and then have you know has do like a sort of like a cave theme especially because I have a lot of Corydoras in my tank I like to have a lot of um, sort of cavey type of shady areas so that they can chill out and then they can do like a piece of drift or do some plants around that so it's definitely some good ideas and um there's a few channels like shout out to Dustin's fish tanks and life of pets I might tag you guys I know you guys are really good at what you do so that's my day now so yeah some good growth happening there the crypts um the swords yeah cut that down a bit and the uh the anubius nana as well on the on the driftwood here I'm doing all right as well some nice growth here, all on the side. Snails are absolutely everywhere on there. Um, Anubia is definitely one of my favorite plants as well. A lot more slower growing, but a beautiful plant, hardy plant. So it does well in, in, in any water conditions with any light. With no CO2, only thing I'd use for CO2 is my Flourish Excel here. Do a dose every couple of days, you know, about, um, you know, cap full, nearly cap full, cap full. And it seems to help, especially with the, um, I think the Crips have definitely um, responded well to that. Uh, the swords, so I've got root tabs for the swords, so. Yeah, so that's an update, guys. I hope uh, everyone's enjoying their weekend. I'm going to definitely come up with some, show you my new additions when I get them. And, um, yeah, I'm talking some new stuff soon. And uh, I hope everyone enjoys their weekend. Get out there in the sunshine, guys. If there is sun where you are, I certainly will be. Until then, I'll catch you later, YouTube.